First, a Fox 32 investigation. Gone fishing. A high-ranking state employee who led another life as a pro fisherman. You paid for his sick days while he reeled in prize money. Here's Larry Ellen. Don, we won't be paying for his fishing days anymore. A deputy director at the Illinois Department of Natural Resources resigned today, just hours after we confronted DNR officials with evidence that he needed a gone fishing sign on his door last summer while he was claiming to be sick. I love to hunt and fish. I believe in the Second Amendment, and I believe in protecting our rights. When downstater Travis Lloyd ran for the General Assembly seven years ago and lost, he made no secret of his love for hunting and fishing. And he makes no secret of it these days either. His Facebook page is filled with photos of his accomplishments as a professional bass fisherman on the Walmart FLW Tour. He won $10,500 in 2012 and almost $4,000 catching fish last summer. But those bass fishing tournaments aren't his primary income. Last year, according to the Illinois Comptroller's Office, he earned $92,000 in his full-time job as Deputy Director for the Department of Natural Resources. So how did he manage to squeeze in four-day fishing tournaments in Florida, Alabama, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Michigan? and still handle that state job. Using the Freedom of Information Act, we obtained Lloyd's timesheets. They show that between May 1st and mid-August last summer, about three and a half months, the deputy director put in just seven and a half hours working for the state. He took 12 and a half vacation days in May, no problem there, but then claimed he was on sick leave for 44 consecutive days, not including weekends. According to the Walmart FLW fishing tournament websites, on five specific days when Lloyd was using sick leave, he was fishing for dollars in those tournaments. Lloyd had accumulated his unused sick days during his four years with the DNR, but state regulations say, quote, sick leave may be used for illness, disability, or injury of the employee, appointments with the doctor, dentist, or other professional medical practitioner. There's no mention of using sick days to go fishing. And Tonight, DNR officials now agree. After we raised questions, the agency told us it, quote, has zero tolerance for any misconduct by our employees. As soon as the situation came to light, we moved swiftly to address it. The individual has resigned. The DNR won't say if the investigation continues, but there are still a lot of questions here. How could Lloyd's supervisors not know that he was off almost all summer? In fact, after he used those 44 sick days, one supervisor approved his taking nine more days off. At least this time, though, without pay, Jeff. Any reaction from Governor Quinn on this? Governor Quinn's spokesperson referred us to the DNR, so he let them do the talking. But obviously, this is embarrassing. Yeah. One of his top state officials, $90,000 a year, claiming to be sick and probably the only illness he had, getting a little sunburn. All right, Larry, thanks. First, a state worker in the middle of a sick time scandal. I've had great loss. I've lost my job. Simply put, I followed the rules. A pro fisherman who's now reeling from controversy. Here's Fox 32's Larry Yellen. Jeff and Don, Travis Lloyd resigned last week from the Illinois Department of Natural Resources after we raised questions about his use of sick leave. Today, by phone, he described the fallout, saying that in addition to losing his job, he's lost his top pro fishing sponsor and has been threatened by members of the public who are angry that he was fishing while on paid leave. He also says he wasn't given a fair shake and that he was never trying to cheat taxpayers out of a dime or beat the system. Travis Lloyd, who resigned as deputy DNR director last Thursday, recalls very clearly the conversation with his doctor last spring where she told him he needed to find a way to reduce his stress. And she said, I want to know where a happy place is for you. And I said, well, there's no happier place for me. And anybody that would know me would know this. I love to fish. It's been a lifelong passion. So his physician, Dr. Tricia Warner, recommended that Lloyd take some time off and keep fishing. Lloyd says the doctor had just informed him that a chronic hereditary illness had flared up and could be life-threatening. There was possible uh, uh, organ loss that could take place. Very scary consultation. Scared me to death, to be quite frank. 
His doctor notified the DNR and agency officials approved his medical leave. We started asking questions when we learned that during his 44 consecutive days of sick leave, he was fishing in professional bass fishing tournaments, winning almost $4,000. The DNR responded to our inquiries last week by telling us there was zero tolerance for employees' misconduct. And as soon as this situation came to light, we moved swiftly to address it. The individual has since resigned. Lloyd says he was pressured to resign and never got a fair hearing. I've had great loss. I've lost sponsors. I've lost my job. And it's all simply put, I followed the rules. Lloyd says DNR officials have known for years that he was a pro fisherman, that it wasn't Fox 32's questions that brought the situation to light. He also claims his doctor's plan, including his pro fishing, was copied to his supervisors. In response, a DNR spokesperson told me that Lloyd's dual employment was known generally by the agency, but the rules change when you go on medical leave. Those rules say an employee shall not be granted designated leave of absence for the purpose of seeking or taking employment elsewhere or operating a private business. Lloyd says his doctor's orders, approved by the DNR, should outweigh the prohibition against holding a job while on medical leave. While it might seem weird that a doctor would prescribe me to go to a stress-free zone and as it be, it's fishing for me, they can't say that I didn't list my dual employment. They can't say that I didn't file for Family Medical Leave Act and they can't say they didn't approve it. It was all there. Governor Quinn has called Lloyd's leaving a voluntary resignation, not a forced departure. Lloyd says most of his stress arose from his responsibilities at the DNR and that by the end of his sick leave, his health had improved. His doctor had also prescribed medications and a change in diet. Jeff?